Welcome back. So, had a couple pickups and just wanted to put a quick video together. Uh, the interesting thing is, both of these popped up on eBay. One of them I had to work at, the other one was just kind of by happenstance. I found it. And they're both related to the very day. So, in front of you is a picture of Hank Greenberg playing first base in game one of the 1934 World Series. It was October 3rd, 1934. The Tigers would lose that game and eventually go on to lose the series to the Gas House Gang, St. Louis Cardinals. This was Greenberg's first World Series appearance. This came after the Tigers signed Mickey Cochran as both their catcher and their manager. Greenberg had a phenomenal year in his second season in the majors, posting 63 doubles, 339 batting average, and collecting over 200 hits. But unfortunately, it just wasn't enough. Gas House Gang won their third championship in eight years, but it gave Greenberg and many of the other Tigers the experience they needed to go on to win in 35, 40, and 45. So this is a picture. They don't come up often. Um, this is posted as a buy it now or best offer. I threw the seller a best offer and thankfully they accepted it. So for my end, I got it at a decent price. On his end, he managed to sell it in probably about 15 minutes on eBay. Um, it actually came from Philadelphia, shipped to Philadelphia. So it got here very quickly and it actually arrived the same day in the same bunch of mail. Again, there's only two packages as this item. So this is a PSA encapsulated in a one and a half 1934 World Series ticket for game one. So the very same game. So whoever, likely whoever had this ticket watched this play. And it's one of those fun things to have in the collection. I personally enjoy both photos and tickets as part of the PC. The photos tell more of the story and the tickets are you know of the actual event of the actual game um, this one again was Hank's first taste of postseason play back then it was only the World Series it was also his first World Series home run so being able to find these this one I actually had to work on for quite a bit I think the seller had it up for a month I had previously kind of gone back and forth with them a little bit on price Eventually, um, I, I exhausted my offers and I decided one day just to say, look, if you send me the same exact counter you did before, you did originally, then I'll buy it. Plain and simple. And that's exactly what they did. They sent the offer, I accepted, I paid for it, and good to go. Um, and that was after both thinking about getting it, but also of seeing what some of the other tickets were getting um, and what they were listed for so very nice example the front is really really clean the back has obviously a little bit of scrapbook paper loss but as a presentation piece it is a great great item and again just same day by chance this photo was posted by a seller an image from game one from the same game I got the ticket of the 1934 World Series so that's the very short very small very quick mail day and until next time please remember to collect what you enjoy enjoy what you collect and don't let anybody especially the market or youtuber dictate that to you and most importantly have fun and have fun by being active in this community so find your way of participating. 
whether it's making videos, watching, commenting, going to live streams, group chats, going to your LCS or local card show, or simply talking about the hobby with family and friends. The more you put into it, the more you'll get out of it. The more you'll learn, the more your PC will grow, the more people you'll meet, and the more fantastic friendships you'll form. So I thank you very much for joining me. Hope to see you again. Have a good one. And bye for now.